Well, it's time now for your tropical update. And Brandon is here with Pat. How's it looking out there? Well, we got a couple of things we're watching, but we just got the new numbers in from NOAA for their latest hurricane season forecast. They're calling for 15 to 21 named storms. That does include the five named storms that we've had recently already, seven to 10 of which becoming hurricanes and three to five category three or higher. That would be major hurricanes. Compare that to their previous forecast that they put out in May, and it is very similar, which means they're just keeping it going. They're right on target. And water out into the Atlantic in terms of its temperature temperature isn't as warm as what it was during that record setting season last year, but everything else seems to be in place. So uh, it looks like we're going to have an above average season. Chances are leaning that way anyways. Already watching two things out there. Now that we're getting into August, things typically start picking up, especially farther out into the Atlantic. We're watching one disturbance way out into the Atlantic and another one that hasn't even got off the coast of Africa yet, but it's a pretty strong tropical wave and it does have a 30% chance of developing. It's kind of in between burst of Saharan dust, so it does have some moisture to take advantage. It's going to be a long time that we're watching that one, so I'm not too concerned about it now. Another one that's a little bit farther out ahead should approach the islands as we get towards this weekend. 20% chances of that happening. It has a lot of dry air to get through first, so I'm not too concerned about that one developing just yet. It is something to watch, though, as we get close to the weekend. Otherwise, we have storms that we're watching right now on radar right around Duck Key. I know we've had some lightning strikes with this water spouts possible there in the Keys and a broken line of storms developing to our west over the Everglades. This is what's going to push in over the next few hours, and we do have the potential to see some strong storms. I think the first storms will start moving into Weston and Miramar first and inland Broward. That's going to happen probably by around 1 o'clock when we see our first storms move in. So it could be a little rough at times this afternoon. Some of these could be strong.